Hello, Nick here from Technorover and welcome back to the channel. Back in August of this year, I needed a new coffee machine and found a cracking deal on the Sage Bambino Plus and Smart Grinder Pro that cost me just £340, so I took the plunge. I've been using that setup daily for the past six months, making at least two or four coffees a day, sometimes more at the weekends, and I thought I'd run you through my thoughts on the coffee machine and grinder, the pros and the cons. I will continue to use this setup by the way, so if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. You may be aware of the Bambino machine from Sage. It's been around for a while, um, but this is the Plus model. So it looks very similar, but it has a third button on the front, which controls the automatic steam option, but more on that later. As of making this video, the retail price of the Plus is 399 here in the UK, while the grinder retails at 209, but I wouldn't pay full retail price. There are always deals, sales and discount codes to be had, so do some research before diving in. A quick overview of the Bambino Plus. It's an espresso machine, so you need to use ground coffee in the machine to produce your shot. It's got 15 bar pressure with PID temperature control that delivers water at 93 degrees, and it's pretty much good to go a few seconds after turning it on. You will get a 54 mil porter filter with two baskets, single and dual wall for freshly ground or pre-ground coffee, one or two cup, plus a plastic tamper, which is one area of improvement for me. I want something a little heavier. It's got a 1.9 liter water tank. It's 1600 watts total power. Comes with a two year manufacturer warranty, which is double what many others tend to offer. And it's got that automatic steam wand. A grinder is a must have when paired with the Bambino as you need good ground coffee, fresh ground coffee to the coarseness that you want to use in the machine. There are various grinders on the market. It just so happens I got this deal on the Smart Grinder Pro, so that's what I went for. It's a very easy grinder to use. You put the beans in the hopper, select your grind settings, insert your porter filter into the cradle and push forward so you hit the button at the back and start the machine. Settings include grind time, shot count, either one or two, and grind size or course. There is a rotary knob on the side to adjust the grind size while the knob on the front adjusts the grind amount. There is a guide on the LCD screen to help you out, but it's very much a trial and error thing. You need to test it out several times to get the shot that you want. As mentioned earlier, this is the Bambino Plus model, which is slightly larger than the original. It's wider, the steam wand is in a different position and there are more buttons. To the base of the machine, you'll see a metal nipple sticking out that can be pushed in and out. That is the temperature sensor. So when you put your milk jug under the steam wand, and on top of that sensor, the machine knows how hot or cold your milk is and uses that to automatically create steamed textured milk for you. There are three settings for temperature, warm, hot, and very hot, I'll call them, plus three texture options. So say smooth, light, froth, and heavy froth. For me, I set both the temperature and texture level to medium or two, and it's fantastic. It's hot, but not burning. And after a couple of swirls, the milk is textured enough to create some latte art. Although my skills in that department are lacking somewhat. If you want it hotter, you can, and we do. Our parents like it really hot. And then if you you want a big blob of frothy milk on top you can do that as well on medium settings and half jug of milk which is one cup full it takes about 60 seconds to heat up the more milk you have the longer it takes and sometimes if I use a smaller cup for my cup of coffee I can get two portions of milk out of one jug it's easy it's quick and I use that feature nine times out of ten but you don't have to you can manually steam your milk as well and gauge the temperature with your hand while holding it. So what are the pros and cons of this machine after using it for six months? Pros are plentiful. It's so easy to use and it is consistent. I've not yet had any issues with loss of pressure, temperature or overall quality. It warms up quick, it pulls a great shot for the price point and it feels really good quality backed by a two year warranty which is very reassuring. The auto steam wand is fantastic and works very well. It also auto purges which is a godsend as I've had previous machines that didn't do that you may forget or not do it long enough and over time the milk builds up inside and really affects the steam performance once you've used the wand and put the arm back down after wiping it it will purge flushing water through which is fantastic the machine comes with a water filter which is also nice as i have very hard water where i live and they recommend changing it every three months i guess price is another pro as yes it may appear expensive at first but once you've done some research and seen what else is on the market you know coffee machines are not all that cheap 
On to the cons now, I said the Steam Wand was a pro, it most definitely is, but that comes with a small con too. After you use it, it purges itself and that milky water goes into the drip tray, which isn't very big at all. Now, if you've smelt rotten, gone off milk before, you know it whiffs. And if you don't empty your drip tray after a few days, that milk builds up and starts to pong. Leave it a week or longer, I can only imagine what the smell might be like. After two days, maybe four or five coffees, the drip tray is full and will need cleaning. Also, the milk wand position is limited, in or out, with no left or right or rotating head for more flexibility. I didn't find it a problem because I generally use the auto feature but if you went manual it may put you off a little bit the machine is also pretty lightweight so i found when i would insert the portafilter filter and twist the machine will move so i'd have to hold it with in position with one hand and then put the portafilter filter in with the other noise is fine i don't think that's a con but it does vibrate the machine itself doesn't move but due to the vibrations it makes a lightweight cup will move under your port filter and the coffee may miss your cup altogether as for the grinder pros are its flexibility and fine adjustment on grind course and there is ample options to really get a great espresso or pour over or whatever you wanted it also has a built-in memory so when you turn the machine off it will remember your previously saved presets i also like the removable base plate too and after a while it collects the overflow coffee and is easy to dispose of cons it can be a little bit messy there is static coffee chaff i think that's what it's called to the shoot and around the machine it makes a mess on my worktop and there can be a lot of wastage so there we have it they are my thoughts on the sage bambino plus coffee machine and smart grinder pro after using them for the last six months so far so good i'm impressed and i'm hopeful this setup will continue to deliver tasty coffees for a long time yet that is a wrap on this video if you have stuck around until the end and thank you very much and if you want to see more videos from us in the future hit that subscribe button and all our future videos will pop up in your feed